During the warmer weather, the Detroit River transforms into the go to spot for fishermen to from everyone to from fishermen to recreational vehicles, along with the usual freighters and cruise ships, resulting in a lot of traffic. And that may sound good, but it comes with a huge challenge. Everyone is fighting to use the small body of water freely and safely. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid hits the waves to see why big ships want small vessels to stay out of their way. This is the Detroit River. It runs 28 miles long and serves as the international border between Canada and the U.S. It is also one of the busiest waterways in the world. From freighters to cruise ships and even little fishing boats, many vessels maneuver on the river that for the most part tends to be between 0.5 and 2 miles wide. But with summertime coming up, obviously the boating public's a lot, a lot heavier now. And so we're just trying to get out there and educate the voting public on what's going on and then help keep everyone safe. U.S. Coast Guard's Senior Chief Casey McDonough says one of the biggest concerns is when fishermen and recreational boats come too close to bigger ships. Have you seen any close calls? Yes, we have. This fishing season, the U.S. Coast Guard addressed 400 marine alerts that include vessels coming in close proximity to each other. This time last year, that number was 46. Captain George Haynes has been navigating these waters for 37 years, and there have been many times he has come across several heart-stopping close calls, something he says has only gotten worse over the years. Everybody has the right to enjoy the waterway. Big ships can only navigate in certain parts of the channel because they're they're loaded deep and they're they can't maneuver as well so recreational boaters uh as much as they, they want to enjoy it they still have to stay out of the way what are some of the basic signs one should be aware of i'll say the most basic thing is know your where you are if you're inside the channel that boat can only safely navigate inside the channel and so if you hear the five short blasts obviously that's them telling you hey we need you to move to identify the channel is simple. Along the Detroit River, you will see red and green buoys. Any time operating between the buoys means you are inside the channel. Another thing that they can do is never converge on the path of a vessel. We may be watching them and that makes us nervous because we don't know if they can really, they're paying attention to us, especially at night. Coast Guard 456322, 456322. But since every story has two sides, I met up with proud Detroiter Captain Zerhowski, also known as Captain Z. He has been fishing in these waters for over 35 years, an art he learned from his dad. What's so special about Detroit River when it comes to fishing? In the springtime, you get a, a walleye migration of estimates, 11 million walleyes migrate to this river. This is their spawning habitat. That's why you get everybody from all over the country coming here to fish for them. That makes matters worse. Captain Z says fishermen unfamiliar with the area may need more knowledge or experience to operate on the river. Well, the way it always works for me is I catch a fish right as the freighter's getting closer and closer, so I'm doing a couple things and I can't get to my motor right away. I gotta bring up three lines. If there's multiple people, that's, you know, multiple lines. So it's not exactly easy, but again, I see both sides of the story. But then why be in their path in the first place? Well, that's where all the fish are. <laughs> As for the law, big vessels like freighters, cruises, and naval ships have the right of way, and obstructing their path may result in fines. Now remember, safety comes first, and the best way to be safe is to be aware of all the rules and regulations. So anytime you're here out on the river, either fishing or having fun, make sure you learn up all the do's and don'ts, and you can find the full list on WXYZ.com. Reporting from Belle Isle, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. Okay, Faraz, gotta know those rules.